Parker, who is at a polling station in Ecuador's capital, Quito. Hi, Denise. For the benefit of our viewers, when we spoke with you earlier, we saw socially distanced persons queued to cast their ballot. How has turnout been at your location thus far? Hi, there is Indeed, I am a one of the police station in Ecuador now, the, the Marisa School North of the capital. As you can see, Pami, there is here, the open, the, the pools are open. And today, Ecuadorian people will choose the new president, vice president, the members of the National Assembly and the representative to the Andean Parliament. As you can see, there is here, in the school station, the Marista School, people are voting here. As you can see, it is with normality activity. We can show show you how this event continues in all Ecuador. And this election, there is a will be a story. We should remember that there is an unprecedented number of presidential pairs participating. Sixteen. As well as you can see, all Ecuadorian people have voted under the biosecurity measure this cause of the pandemic situation. As you can see here in this school, people are voting with normality. I'll also hear police officers and all the authorities and representatives of the National Electoral Council who have to supervise all the activity in the different school stations. Also, there is, we have to remember that a total of 13 million Ecuadorians are eligible to vote in the country. And also the pools are open here. Uh, it opened at 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. So this is how Ecuadorian people are facing this election day this election day, so we will update in the information as soon as we come back to you at the studios. Denise Herrera at a polling station in Quito, Ecuador. As you can see, there were definitely people in lines trickling in to cast their ballot, but also socially distanced because this is indeed an election in a pandemic. We're taking one last break. Stay with us. <laughs>